Hello, this is Teacher Sarah. Welcome to our new lesson. Whenever we meet friends, we are obliged to exchange greetings with them. In this video, we are going to learn how to use formal and informal form of English in such kind of instances. Now read each pair of sentences. Take note of the differences between long or formal expressions and short or informal expressions. What did you notice in using formal and informal English in writing sentences? When should we use formal and informal English? How are you going to use formal and informal English? Now read the sentences in the table. Notice that formal English is signaled by complex and complete sentence. It avoids slang vocabulary and written in long form. So, in the formal English, we say, May I introduce you to my teacher? While in the informal English, we'll just say, Please meet my teacher. In the formal English, we say, It was nice meeting you. While in the informal English, we'll just say, Nice meeting you. Now, when are we going to use formal English? Formal English is used during business meetings, while giving public announcements, or while presenting a report or delivering a speech. Now, what about informal English? Informal English is characterized by simpler grammatical structures, personal expression, and slang vocabulary. In using informal English, combining words will require knowledge of contractions. So, in informal English, words are being combined or contracted. So, for example, if... In the formal English, we say, I would like to join you this Saturday. In the informal English, instead of saying, I would, we'll just say, I'd. I'd like to join you this Saturday. In the formal English, we say, was that not exciting? In the informal English, we say, instead of saying, was not, we say, wasn't that exciting? See the difference? So always remember that in the informal English, words are being combined or contracted. Now, when do we use informal English? We use informal English when we are around people we know. We use informal English when you are around people you know. You use informal English to the ones that you are close to, such as friends or persons you regularly speak with. So you do not use informal English to new acquaintances, to people whom you just met. 
Instead, we use formal English when we are talking to people whom we just met, when we are talking to new acquaintances. All right, read these expressions and tell whether it is formal or informal. Okay, for number one, do you understand what to do? Is this formal or informal? That's right, this is formal. Number two, anybody in here? Formal or informal? That's informal. Number three, I would like to have a hamburger and a soda. Is this formal or informal? That's right, this is formal. Number four, I am afraid I will not be able to attend. Is this formal or informal? That's right, this is formal. Number five, sorry, I can't make it. Formal or informal? That's right, it is informal. Number six, I would be grateful if you could reply early. Is this formal or informal? That's right, this is formal. Number seven, nice to meet you. See ya! Is this formal or informal? That's right, this is informal. Number eight, please let me know when you will be available. Is this formal or informal? That's right, this is formal. Number nine, I'll see you soon. Is this formal or informal? You're right again, this is informal. Number 10, don't forget to call me. Is this formal or informal? You're right again, this is informal. Now, always remember that formal English is signaled by complex and complete sentence. It avoids slang vocabulary and is written in long form. Formal English is used during business meetings, while giving public announcements, or while presenting a report or delivering a speech. While informal English is characterized by simpler grammatical structures, personal expression, and slang vocabulary. In using informal English, combining words will require knowledge of contractions. And informal English is used when you are around people you know, ones that you are close to such as friends or people you regularly speak with. Now that would be all for today. See you on the next lesson.